and then coming to other properties like solubility so zinc polycarboxylate cement again is less soluble in oral fluids or water however the solubility of cement increases when it is exposed to organic acids whose pH is less than 4.5 and the solubility of any cement for that matter increases when there is decrease in powder liquid ratio or when there is increase in the amount of liquid which we apply during manipulation procedure right so that's regarding solubility and coming to biological considerations this is very important we have two important points to discuss over here the first one is the ph of the liquid is very low the ph of the polyacrylic acid liquid is approximately 1.7 so I'm talking about the liquid, not the cement. So once this liquid is mixed with a powder, since it's an acid-base reaction leading to salt formation, there will be rapid rise in pH, right? So even though the pH of the cement is very low, it's not irritating to pulp because the moment you mix that with powder, the rate of increase in pH is more greater and as a result of which there won't be much damage or much irritation to the pulp. And second factor to be considered in biological considerations is the size of the polyacrylic acid molecule as i have been telling you right from the beginning of the video the molecular size of polycarboxylic acid is larger and even its atomic weight or the molecular weight is much more greater so that's the reason why it blocks the dentinal tubules the moment you apply it on the dentin or within the cavity and uh, in the process of blocking the dentinal tubules prevents transmission of any impulses thereby leading to less post-op sensitivity and also prevents the entry of various harmful stimuli hence it is considered to be more biocompatible now let's look at the manipulative considerations of zinc polycarboxide cement so for manipulation we'll be using a glass slab a glass slab is preferred over an oil impervious pad The reason is when you take an oil impervious pad and when you drop liquid onto that there is a greater chance for the water present in the liquid to get absorbed by this pad. So to overcome that problem we can use a glass slab for dispensing powder as well as liquid. And the powder liquid ratio for zinc polycarboxide cement is 1.5 is to 1 that is 1.5 parts of powder are mixed with one part of liquid so this is the ideal powder liquid ratio for obtaining luting consistency right and then the method of manipulation or mixing is usually circular and while mixing these powder particles into the liquid the bulk of the powder component or particle should be incorporated within the liquid and mixing has to be done for approximately not exceeding 2.5 minutes and most importantly this cement has to be used clinically only when it has glossiness this is very important when the cement loses glossiness or gloss it indicates that there are no free carboxylic groups available in other words a glossy cement indicates that there are free carboxylic acid groups available for bonding to dentine or enamel or tooth structure so once the cement loses its glossiness it means free carboxylic groups are consumed by the cement in the process of setting and this cement has to be discarded we can't use it and we need to remanipulate the cement again right so this loss of gloss is very important it's an important indicator for presence of free carboxylic acid chains so this is about the manipulation of a zinc polycarboxylate cement the powder liquid ratio is very important and the method of manipulation is also significant and we should use or prefer a glass slab over an oil impervious pad and as i discussed previously the powder particles can be refrigerated but not the glass slab and also not the liquid if you refrigerate a liquid the viscosity further increases making it almost impossible to manipulate the cement right so this is about manipulation of zinc polycarboxylate cement and then moving on to the next aspect that is surface preparation usually this zinc polycarboxylate cement is used for luting it's used as a luting cement it can also be used as a base but it's preferred mostly for luting because of its film thickness which is less than 25 microns so 
when you are planning to place a noble metal alloy based crown on a prepared tooth the surface of the tooth has to be very clean because if the surface of tooth is not clean filled up with impurities such as smear layer debris contaminated with water etc the luting agent such as polycarboxylate is not going to bind chemically to the prepared tooth so in order to overcome this problem the surface of a prepared crown or tooth should be conditioned so for the purpose of conditioning we have to use 10% polyacrylic acid for a duration of 10 to 15 seconds or we can even use malic acid so this conditioning basically removes the smear layer improves the surface energy and enhances the bonding of the luting agent so this is about the surface preparation considerations of a prepared crown or of a prepared tooth and in case of a crown which is made of noble metal alloys the inner surface of this crown has to be either sandblasted or can be abraded with a small stone in order to improve the surface area or increase the surface area of the crown so that we can anticipate better bonding between the cement and the tooth as such there won't be any chemical bonding but the retentive aspect can be increased several folds when we sandblast or either abrade the inner surface of the metal crown with a small abrasive stone so this is regarding the surface preparation considerations and finally the removal of excess cement as i have been elaborating the prepared tooth and the crown when you are luting this crown on a prepared tooth with a zinc polycarboxylate cement there will obviously be a lot of excess cement all around and during the setting process of zinc polycarboxylate cement it passes through a stage which is rubbery in nature so we should avoid removing excess cement during this rubbery stage because once you remove cement in this stage there can be pull out of the cement even beneath the margins of the crown if for suppose this is the crown and this is the prepared tooth you're placing your crown like this and during the process of removal of excess cement along the margins if it is in rubbery stage and if you try to pull it out the cement which is present underneath the margins or beneath the margins can also come out leading to formation of various voids inside the margins of a crown so that again leads to micro leakage, food lodgement, plaque accumulation and damage to gingiva, right? So to overcome this problem, we should never remove excess cement when it is in rubbery stage. Either we should remove it immediately after luting or it can be removed once the cement completely sets. Once the cement completely sets, it hardens, then it will be easier for us to remove. Either way, the goal is to avoid removing excess cement when it is in rubbery stairs. So this is in brief about zinc polycarboxylate cement. To summarize zinc polycarboxylate cement, so we have discussed about composition, the powder and liquid the setting chemistry how exactly the setting mechanism is happening and the nature of matrix and filler particles and most importantly bonding of zinc polycarboxylate cement to the tooth structure film thickness which is the main use of zinc polycarboxylate cement that is luting and then we have discussed about working time setting time and different means to increase working time various mechanical properties like compressive strength, tensile strength, modulus of elasticity, brittleness, etc. And also we have discussed about pseudoplasticity in film thickness. And then we have discussed about the solubility of the cement, biological considerations, namely the pH of the cement and the size of polyacrylic acid molecules. And also we have discussed in detail about the manipulative considerations, powder liquid ratio, method of manipulation and whether to manipulate on a glass lab or an oil impervious pad. And also various surface preparation considerations of a tooth as well as the underneath of a crown. And also we discussed different means to remove excess cement. So this is in detail about zinc polycarboxylate cement. So once you understand the composition, setting chemistry, manipulative considerations, and also if you can remember the values of various setting, working times, and various properties, then you can answer any multiple choice question from this given topic in any format with confidence and precision. Thank you.